Hey, so I just wanted to talk about DOSBox um, and specifically game music in DOSBox. Now, um, the idea of this this kind of tutorial is a very brief tutorial. It's very easy to do, but it's just to show you how to get game music um, that may have sounded somewhat like some of the higher end hardware would have would have played back in the day. Now, if you're anything like me, you possibly had like a Sound Blaster or Sound Blaster 16 back in the early 90s, and playing games like Doom and Duke Nukem and, and whatnot on that sounded okay. Um, but looking back at it now, and when you compare it to things like the SID chip, you know the audio that came out of that, it seems pretty hollow. Um, and like like myself, maybe you probably didn't get a, a an AW32, AWE32 card till much later on. By which point, most game audio had, had changed to CD audio or sampled audio, so that it was kind of a moot point by then. Um, but anyway, one thing that DOSBox can do, and presume you're familiar with DOSBox because you need to be for this tutorial is it can do MPU-401 emulation. Um, and MPU-401 is basically the hardware or software that was used at the time to get uh, the music turned into MIDI and pushed out of the MIDI port to a hardware device like an outboard MT-32 or maybe something even more expensive and sparkly than that. But what you can do with it now is you can set this up on your machine and you can have it go to a soft synth which is basically just a software synthesizer and load it up with a sound font and the sound font is basically a set of instruments that the synthesizer can use to play the music once you've got the two things talking together which is very easy you can play the music in your favorite game and it will sound amazing um, there's lots of different sound fonts available so you can try different things depending on what your taste is and what sort of thing you want um, but it's very simple to do so I'm gonna get straight into it right now and let you know what it sounds like um, I'm not going to show you too many games because I don't want to spoil it for you you might want to try that yourself but I'll show you a couple just to see the effect that it has. Um, so I'll crack on. So I've got the two pieces of software that you're going to need already downloaded. Um, the first one is called uh, CoolSoft Virtual MIDI Synth. Um, very easy to install, so just run it, give it administrator privileges, sorry about the noise. Run through the um, wizard. Um, yeah, just install it wherever. Now once it's loaded, Let's go next. Um, yes, let's do that. <clears throat> so once it's loaded, it should be, here we go. I'll move it out of the uh, system tray if it will let me. No, it's not going to. Okay, so once it installs, it throws this little error message, which is fine, basically saying there's no sound font installed. Now, all you actually need to do at this point is just load a sound font. So I've got one on my desktop, which is um, one I've downloaded. It's, the link is in the description. Like It's called Tombras of Heaven. I really like it, so this is the one I use. So we load that up, and that's it. That's done. So this is ready now to receive MIDI, um, MIDI messages and then output sound. So we can apply that. Hopefully. OK it. Now, next thing we need to do is we've got to configure DOSBox. So let's get DOSBox loaded up. Sorry, I'm typing with one hand. Now, once you're in DOSBox, all you need to do is go run this command, which is mixer slash list MIDI, and it will list MIDI devices available on your system. Now, looking at this, um, you can see well, I've got three devices here. Virtual MIDI synth is the one I'm interested in because that's the one I've just installed. Now, the number next to it is zero, which is perfect. So all we need to do is just remember zero. Then we edit the config file, the DOSBox config file this is. Add it then. Now, uh, if you're using some kind of front end for DOSBox, it should have the option for this, hopefully, but if it doesn't, just dig around. Now, the, the bit we're interested in, I've already mentioned, is MPU-401. So in this section down here, we have um, two options here, MPU-401 Intelligent MIDI Device Default. Just leave those as they are. They don't need to be changed if you're on Windows. MIDI Config. Now, here's where you enter the ID of the MIDI device that you just discovered. So in my case, it was zero. I'm going to enter zero. And that's all you need to do, and that's now configured, ready to go. So what I'll do is just show you how that works in a game. I'm just going to save that. Okay, so I've got DOSBox loaded up, and I'm just going to load up Duke 3D. Uh, I'm going to load up the setup program so I can just test the audio. Now what I'm going to do is just go to the music settings and just select the Sound Blaster, which is kind of the default ad-lib FM synthesis kind of sound, and just listen to what that sounds like. Probably sounds familiar. Um, it's not great. And certainly looking back now, when you compare it to other systems, you know, 80s systems, arcade systems, it doesn't sound great. And I would 
imagine that developers probably had better hardware to listen to this on. Um, so this wasn't as they intended it to sound, for sure. So let it play a little bit longer. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the music card again. This time I'm going to select the general MIDI option and select address 330 because that's what DOSBox uses for, for MPU um, emulation. So I'll just select that and we'll test the music again. Loads better. To hear the bass line. I bloody love this bit that's coming up, it sounds great like this. Just play it to the end, why not? So there you go, that sounds a whole load better. Um, and you may never have heard it like that. Um, so I'll add another game, I'll add it Wacky Wheels. Um, the game itself, maybe not great, but uh, still, the music is. I'm going to select Sound Blaster for this, just so you can hear the music as it's intended to, well, not intended to be heard, but how you may have heard it. The game itself isn't great, oh, well, I don't think so anyway, but this music is just a great piece of music. synthesis that's for sure I mean, it's quite quite hollow sounding I guess okay so I'm just going to select general MIDI again select 330 which is the default for DOS box and MPU emulation and then we will do another music test and it sounds like a different song to be quite honest The bass is so prominent, it's great. Well, it does occasionally screw up a little bit because this has gone to a choir sound now, which is a bit strange in, in this sound fun. There you go that's uh, that's what it sounds like so there you go i hope that was uh, useful um or at least very least interesting just to hear what that sounds like with sound fonts and, and more exciting midi um, of course you can output to other things as well um, once you've got mp401 enabled and pushing um, pushing midi out if you did have a hardware device you wanted to use or maybe uh, a vst whatever there's loads of things you can do with it so it's something you can certainly play around with one of the main things that I noticed about this is, is that once you enable this on some games, it is almost like playing them again for the first time, which is, which is cool for nostalgia reasons, but also kind of makes you think what it could have sounded like at the time, which is great. Um, so, like I said, I won't show you any more songs, because if you want to try this for yourself, I don't want to spoil it so you've heard them already. Um, good luck. Thanks.